Thank you so much for being here with us today. Thanks for having us. Yes. I need to like readjust my know. life. Oh my god. Okay. Thank you, thank fan. you so much for being here. Thank if you. I could have you introduce yourself to our audience and also tell us a little bit about Not Your Daddy's Films. Absolutely. I am Carly Tamarin. I am one of the co founders of Not Your Daddy's Films. And I'm Nicole Lip. Can we talk to you again? I know, wait, that's such a good question though. <laughs> Of course! You're no, good. keep You're it good. in! Keep it keep in! Keep it in! Yeah. Keep, we'll keep it in. I'm so embarrassing. No, no, Wait, no. What is the answer? Do I talk to you or the camera? You can talk to me, that's fine. Okay, great. Yeah, go cool, for cool, it. Cool. Okay, I'm I'm Nicole Lip. Um, I'm keeping it really cool and normal at Comic-Con. Um, I'm one of the co-founders of Not Your Daddy's Films. And um, we are two of the founding daddies of Not Your Daddy's Films, um, two of five. And Not Your Daddy's Films, how many times can I say it, um, is a social impact organization dedicated to empowering and educating women and non-binary filmmakers. Um, and we do that through panels, workshops, screenings, a podcast, and, and more. Yes. I love it. I love it. Yeah. And now, Carly, you are a uh, a director, an actor, a dance. Your list, your your resume is ex extensive. It is. Writer, producer, <laughs> uh, martial artist I as am well, artist. and a content creator. Oh my yes. God, she um, does it all. Tell us though, what what do you enjoy the most doing? What is your what's your true passion? You know, it's so hard, and I think to speak to that, the reason I've done so many things is because I just follow my passion. Like, if I'm really feeling like, you know, I love a deep dive into something. Um, I, I've been a dancer my whole life. I found martial arts. I got really into that. I think I'm just like, I love learning about things um, and digging into that. And also, I think part of learning how to be a filmmaker is you have to do everything yourself at first. So, that's the reason, once I started writing and directing, I had to edit my own stuff, you know, so all of that, it, in the end, sort of feeds into each other, um, but it's just, it's just happened that way, and it's hard to pick a favorite thing, because I really, I really care about all of it, and I think it all makes me the filmmaker of that course. I am. Of course, understand. Um, but I think, ah, dance is my heart, mm. dance is my heart. And I think acting is the most fun because I don't have to be there for post-production right. or pre-production. <laughs> but directing is something that really matters. And I think once I found that I had great sensibility for that, I was like, I have to follow this path. Because something bigger than me is telling me that like I gotta take it for the team. You know, like mm -hmm. it felt it's just like it, yeah, it makes me like <sighs> warm and fuzzy in here. I'm just like, I I care about it and I know that it's important for us to keep being directors and being in positions of power to, to change, to, to make any change. For sure, for sure. And to tell our own stories. I think, uh, yeah, so I, I'm a director, I'm a recovering actor, clearly. I'm no longer very comfortable on this side of the camera. Um, <laughs> I love it. Um, I, I spent my whole life um, doing a lot of different things. I, I was a child actor. Um, I worked in marketing for many years as like a business girly. And um, the first time I ever directed um, anything on, on film, I, I directed some theater in college, which is like a cool thing. But um, the first time I ever directed, directed, um, was really on a whim. I just like felt in my bones that this was something that I needed to do and I called a musician friend was like, can I direct a music video for you? I've never done it, I don't know what I'm doing, but like, can I? Um, and she, Disco Shrine, I love her, my angel, she was like, yeah, go for it. <laughs> Obviously I did it for free, just, you know, for fun. This was while I was running my own marketing agency, like with a full list of clients being like a business woman. Um, and it changed my life. It was the first time I stood on set and I looked at what was once in my head on a screen and I was like, this is it. Like, 
when you know, you know. The vision this coming is, to life. Yes. Like, this is my life calling. This is the only thing I ever want to do. Um, and so, I suppose I am also multi hyphenate I also write, um, and I edit, and I produce. I still I have a production company now. I produce um, a lot of branded work and music videos, but like, directing is my heart and soul. Um, and I, you know, I. I feel so lucky now that I get to do this because I did a lot of other things and I had a whole other career and I know what it's like to do something that doesn't feed your actual like heart and soul. And so every day I get to wake up and I'm like, I'm a director, I'm a writer, I'm developing my TV series with an amazing producer, I am making music videos, and on top of that, I get to run Not Your Daddy's Films with my best friends and empower other women to do the same thing. And I'm like, holy shit, I'm so lucky, like I'm gonna cry. Yeah, and I also yeah. think like to be in entertainment is to be an entrepreneur. Yes. You have to, you have to be. Right. Because also, because of the business side of it, but at the same time, you know, art is art is art is art. Like, creative people are, are creative beings. And I think that not being constrained to just one art for your life, you know, like, I think that should just be a normal thing. It makes perfect sense to me. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And we, like, as I just said, like, I know what it was like to not be yeah, making art, to not be an artist, or to not be living life as an mm -hmm. artist. And that sucks. And I, you know, now, like, I I've talked to so many younger girls, like, recent graduates, who have been like, oh, I, I really think I want to do something in entertainment or in film, but I don't really know where to begin, so I got this job working full-time in an office somewhere doing something, like, normal, and I'm just like, don't. Get out. Like, learn the lesson. Like, I wasted, and it was not a waste, it was so mm. worth it, but I spent six years doing something that wasn't for me, and I learned so much on the way, and met amazing people, and I, like, no regrets, obviously, but, like, any time that we can meet someone, especially a woman or a non-binary person, mm -hmm. and be like, follow your heart, just do it. You can, just, like, you can learn to that. be anything. I, you know, like, you don't have to, you're not born a director, I don't right. know, but if you learn the, right. the techniques, the technicalities, the details, you learn about the history and about the people making stuff, like, you can learn how to be a director. And, so, like, let's go. And I love that so much. Yeah, and it's, it's also like, any win for a woman is a win in my eyes. And like, we need more women, more non-binary people, more people of color, more queer people telling their own stories. I'm sick and tired of, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be nice. And, um, I'm just sick and tired of that not being the case. I'm sick and tired. <laughs> I love that being the case. Like ready, that's, that. that's all. That's all. That is the sound bite right here. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually my next question for you was what what advice do you have for those who are coming in for women, for non-binary, LGBTQ plus. But I mean, you pretty much answered that question right there. Yeah. For you know, do you have anything else you'd like to add with that? I, I mean, mean, that's I amazing. Think, yeah, I think adding, you know, and like I've been saying, it's like get obsessed. Like, obsessed. Okay. You have to become the expert because all of these people are going to be like, no, you don't know what you're talking about. Or like, what, well, what does your boss think? Or like, you know okay. what I mean? And if you're into something, like, that's your superpower. Be passionate like, about it. Yes, like, if you okay. love anime, you learn every fucking thing about it and be the expert. So no one can tell you no. And just create from that place. You know, like, yeah, you got to get obsessed and you got to you got to go. It is so hard and it is so scary to take up space. But like, we have to. We have to fight the world. We have to be like the sacrificial lambs here and like just get it done. And even if we don't get it done, it's going to make space for somebody else too that's coming. You know, so we got to be, we got to be brave. It's so hard and it's so scary, but that's why we have each other. Oh, thank God. And I love the look too. The, this Ah, this I'm just I'm loving this vibe of the white with the black accents and the black with the white Listen, accents. We even the nails, even the nails. <laughs> we didn't do it this on purpose. Oh my god! Uh, well, okay, I mean, you we did. did it wow. On okay. We are directors and we made these 
best choices. With yes. intent, yes. Uh -huh. Always. Speaking of directing, though, could I just ask a little bit about The Devil's Daughter? Is that all right? Is that all right if we talk just a little bit about that? Because, okay. I know this was like a pandemic baby for you. This was, yeah, please, if you could tell us a little bit, talk to us a little bit about that. Yeah. And, um, and you had some major players in that as well. Yes, incredible I mean, cast. TV stars yes. in there as well. Yeah, I mean, so. I, I'm so, I am so lucky to have the friends that I have that are just willing to play. And it was, it was such a time, I think, where I built this story because we were so desperate to have fun in a time that was so dark. And so, I don't know, I just worked this like crazy cool thing that, yeah, I think being desperate to have fun. And, and everybody was on board, which was incredible. They're so talented. And I, you know, and I got those friends because I've just been here a long time. I've been in LA for 10 years. And I think it just, sometimes, just takes time. And that is so hard to be patient for that. But those people, I, you know, I came up with. We knew each other before we had done anything. So it's so fun then to at least have a little bit of luck to make stuff and then people might see it, actually. And then, um, yeah, it was such a joy to get to make. It's musical, it's got action, it's, it's crazy. And, um, so good, go watch it. <laughs> but I, I have, I'm working on a feature for it. Ah, okay. So it's absolutely something that I think was my first big foray into a short film with a little bit of money behind it. Still, it could have used so much more money, but I did what I could with what I had um, into making something that looks more polished. And now, I have learned so much about filmmaking since then that I'm really excited to even take that and hopefully shape it into something even bigger. And you, you, you wrote this, you directed this, everything. Yeah, everything. I Amazing. Wrote, yeah, I wrote Amazing. the music for it with my brother. Oh wow! Who's a okay. Um, sang the songs for it. Okay. Uh, it, it sort of honestly was just a mix of everything that I love. I come from dance, musical, theater world, so I was like, well, I want to dance and I want to do martial arts and I want to sing and I want to be with my friends and I want to be silly. I did my own stunts. But I just wanted to I wanted to be like the goofy version of myself. And right. I also think I created it not just for myself, but because I'm an actor and I didn't I was like, God, what would I want to what do I dream to play? And this was like early days, like I think it was more Deadpool really like the like thing. Mm -hmm. You know, and I was like, well why aren't there I think it had come out. Like, uh. there's nothing there wasn't at the time any comedy and action combination for women and I'm like okay I look serious but I am just not you know and nobody lets me do it so I'm gonna have to make it for myself and I found that all of my friends are like that you know all of the women that I know I mean everyone that I know like we all have this so un such an unserious side that so rarely gets to come out when it's real so I think like that just taught me like I want to keep making things with that sort of idea in mind. You know, like, my God, action films are so serious. Yes. And women have to be so serious or so sexy, but like, we can be, we can be sexy and smart and way smarter than everybody else, you know, and goofy all at the same time. And I love that Deadpool comparison because it's very much so, even with you have like the, 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 the kind of the, the counter right, the video um, the, game. like the video game counter yeah. so and I love that um, the feed my ferret line that yes. Patty Guggenheim has Patty improvised <laughs> that ridiculous, line so. Patty improvised that line oh. and it is so she dies I give her like a heel oh, to the no, neck I know, I've seen it. Yeah. yeah and I literally was like Patty I gave her like we did some holes. I was like, okay, try this, try this, try this. And then I was like, now just try like whatever comes to your head because I trust you. And like, Patty and I have been best friends for a long time. She's actually here. Um, and we're about to go see her panel next. But she came through with that line. And let me tell you, I was yes. absolutely gagged. Yes. <laughs> and this is when it's like hard to be <laughs> like a director and an actor. I had to keep my shit together. 
Yeah. But this woman just said, can somebody feed my parents? <laughs> that, that line... Are you dead? It's, it's gold. Like, it's just like... And it seems like so what we've seen from her as well. Yep. So... And that's just so... What like, you're getting out of your actors yeah. is just tremendous. Yeah, I just want that sense of play. You know, like, God, we need it. The world is hard. Right now. Yes. And always. Also, right now is weird. You know, it's like we have to hold on to those well, thank you both so much for being here. Thank you for your time. Right, and actually, that was going to be my final question too. Was um, could you tell us who in the industry, uh, in particular? I mean, this is a panel about women in the industry, but a, a woman in the industry that you admire or you are inspired by. Be they, I mean, you both have such an extensive resume: writer, director, producer, martial artist dancer of course um who who besides the two of you each other my girl is inspiring to you in this industry i our three other co-founders who yes. are sadly not with yes. us in comic con today um but Mika Stubblebein, courtney bell Catherine oh, Hughes. yes yes so these girls are yeah. Like when we started this company, the five of us together, we we were all like friends, acquaintances, but now like these are my best friends. I feel so grateful that I get to like work with them every day and learn from them and like watch them grow and like I love being a fangirl to my best friends. Like I love your work. I love your work. I'm such a fan. to think of like yeah. one specific person right. there's so many things that she be like right. I feel like a Tarantino Fossey you know yes. like those Patty Jenkins who yes. we actually yes. got to work with last November um, we did a panel with her it was her 25th anniversary her love 20th. Wonder Woman so much yes and her 20th yes. anniversary yes. of Monster which we got to screen oh, yes, and do a yes, panel yes, with yes. her yes. and just watching that movie and that was her first feature that she directed that is bananas like and just taking on the female action girl like it's just just seeing her makes me feel like I can do that and she was so I love it. Oh, oh. <laughs> but watching her talk so passionately about just blazing through, like you just have to do it. You know, keep practicing, keep doing it. Like watching her made me feel like, yeah, if she can do it, then I can do it. And we we need more patties in the world, um, at, which is our goal, which is what we're trying to do, yes. and who we're yes. trying to, you know. Yes train and bring up with us because I, I will say like if you ask me who like my biggest influences and heroes are film tv wise they're probably all going to be men yeah because that's what i grew up watching mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and like i love these shows that like probably created my sense of humor yes um and i love these men they're brilliant thank god for david lynch Thank God, you know? Um, thank God for Ruben Oslin. He's like a genius. Like these are amazing men that like need to make things until the day they die. But I, I wish that I had more women like Patty Jenkins to look up to in that same way. And you know, Patty, we're getting there. Patty's top of the food chain, you know, yeah. like yeah. she's somebody that every not everybody, but like would be like, oh think of a female director, yeah. Patty Jenkins. Right. You know, right. and there but are now we're getting like Elizabeth Banks who like Oh, I love her. Love Greta Gerwig. Yeah, Greta Gerwig, thank God. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, singing songs. Yes. Yeah. There are so many, but it's just, they're not so widely known as like, oh, think of a director. Yeah. You know, yeah. like, and now we can list a million incredible women directors. But I'm talking like my initial influences as a child. Yes. I didn't have that yet. Right. Yeah. 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 I mean, so TVD on more. Yes. Sounds like not your daddy's films is making that the forefront. It sure yes. is. And exposing so many. So we have these screenings every other month. Um, just showcasing the most incredible filmmakers that are blowing up right now. Mm -hmm. It's happening right now. You know, like they might show this and then the next day, you know, they astronomical. sell their show. Like, and so I think that's also been something really inspiring because we are seeing these these women in this phase right 
and like how cool to get to see that work on sort of like unfiltered. Yes. And um and then watch them grow like it's it's, it's, it's so actually cool. mind blowing to yeah. to sit back and think about it as a boy. Which, you know we're almost two years old now, so I think suddenly we are looking back and being like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the this past is two years of being crazy. crazy. Yeah, we just crazy. Yeah, we created the thing that we needed and wanted to see. Yeah. It inspires us, so it's fun to see it inspire us. Well, thank you both so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you for your time. So we will let you go on your way. No, you have other panels to get to. to. Yes, oh, this thank was you fun. so much. Maybe we'll get a Not Your Daddy's Films panel. Yes. Next year, well, we'll have yes. to petition for you that. You just might. You might not even have to petition. <laughs> oh, thank you again so much for being here. Yes. All right. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. All right.